Hello and welcome to a new Garden of Designs tutorial. Today we are making a picker into a towel um, holder. We start by doing the ears because uh, this design has 3D ears and horns and it is a cute cow as you have seen. After um, you run the placing stitches on the stabilizer you have to place the fabric right side up and then stitch the tack down stitches and these uh, little v-shaped stitches are actually there to guide you to fold the ears you will see later in the tutorial what i mean by folding the ears after these stitches are done, you'll have to place some fabric for the back of the ear. You can use the same color or you can use a, a different color like I did. And this piece of fabric needs to be face down so they can be sewn together and they are facing each other. If you are using a single, mach uh, a single needle machine, I highly recommend using some... Um, a painter's tape to hold the fabric in place and after the last stitch is done you have to um, take it out and cut around it but we will go on and do the horns I'm just uh, removing the excess fabric and I'm going to keep like um, a quarter inch or one centimeter extra on the bottom of the ears but uh, stick that fabric so it does not go in the way of the horns. Then we loaded the second part of design, which is the horns. It will do a um, contour on the stabilizer to let you know where to place the, um, the felt. We are using stiff felt for this. You will need two pieces. <coughs> So here you can see we are measuring how much felt we need and we cut one square, one square then check to see if it fits and cut another one the same. You put the first one in the hoop, don't forget to stick it down if you're using a single needle machine. And now it starts embroidering with the contour of the horns, these are the stitches that are made to keep the felt in place for the next step which will be to embroider the cute flower design that is the decorative stitching for the horns we use the um, blue thread so uh, you can see better that It is a decorative stitching and the contour and it will do the same for the other horn of course. After this is done you have to turn your um, hoop upside down and add the second piece of paper of uh, felt sorry. You have to add the second piece of felt and just uh, be careful if you're using a multi-needle machine when you turn the the hoop back again so you don't you turn it to the the same position as before and then it will do the final stitching for the horns so the ears uh, will we will have to turn the ears but the horns will stay like this so no turning for the horns And now let's uh, take everything out and um, cut around the ears quite close to the seams, but be very careful not to cut them all the way. You have to remove the stabilizer and I will show you how to use the machine pen or any pen to turn them. This is the easiest way to turn small pieces and you don't have to, to spend a lot of time on doing this. Oh, 
this is a, a little trick that we discovered when turning. And for the horns, I just have to cut them out. I will leave some uh, extra fabric at the end. And then just neatly cut around and here we have one and I'm going to cut the other one. After all this is done, uh, you will have to place another piece of stabilizer in the hoop and start on the third part of this project. We are using tear away stabilizer and here you can see it's going to make the head of the cow. Right now it's doing the contour stitch on the stabilizer paper and it also does some stitches to show you where to place the horns. So the first uh, thing that you will need to attach is the horns. You can see here we use tape and uh, attach them to the stabilizer and then it will do the stitches for uh, placement of the ears. And now you have to fold the ears. Like I said earlier, you have that V shape that shows you where to fold the ears. So you will get the symmetric result. So you fold them and place them in the same place. So here you can see I'm placing the ear and stick it down with some tape and then it will... Uh, be stitched down to the paper also. After this is done, I have to remove the tape carefully, not to get everything out. And then I have to place because I'm uh, making a towel uh, topper I have to add the towel on the bottom part so the pickers uh, the specific thing about pickers is that they have the bottom a straight line so you will have to just place your uh, your towel over there and then place the fabric over it the the fabric for the head and now it will do a contour so it's just like making a, a towel um, a hooded towel just that instead of making a hood you are putting it on a, a kitchen towel and you add the towel before the, the head so you don't have to go forward and backward you use the design exactly as it is just uh, add the towel before adding the fabric and now you can see it uh, made the the stitches for the applique for the mouth area and nose and uh, i placed a piece of fabric and it sewed it down and now i do small cuts very close to the stitches so I'm try trying to have uh, a very small edge that needs to be covered and I am using curved scissors. Next it will do the stitching for the, um, for the applique for the spots. This cute cow has two spots on its head. And now I'm going to add the fabric for those uh, spots. I just trimmed the excess uh, thread. So here you can see me cutting two pieces that fit that uh, space. You can add one big piece over the head so it will do the same thing. Honestly, 
it would have worked even if I hadn't cut it. Again, please use tape if you're using a single needle machine and if you want to work like me, uh, stop using your fingers like I do sometimes and use your pen because it's much safer. You can see here I'm using my fingers from the force of hab habit, but I am trying to change this and uh, to use my pen instead, just to be safe. Again, I'm using the curved uh, scissors to cut as close to the seam as I can. I do uh, small snips, sorry for the hand. <laughs> I forgot to turn the, the camera so you better see, but you can see right now I'm doing small little cuts. Here you can see a little bit better. So I'm doing lots of small cuts until I reach the end and you can see it's a, a very small edge. And now you can see uh, lots of lint over there and I'm just cleaning it up with some painter's tape. This is to prepare for uh, um, adding the, um, the water soluble stabilizer film. This is added on top so the embroidery does not sink. Uh, this is only if you are using fabrics that are uh, fluffy. So if you were to do this design with, uh, let's say, fleece, you do not have to add this. And now it will do the setting stitching for the um, spots and the setting stitching for the nose. And then it will just embroider some details on the face. And I have sped up the the video over here so it goes faster and you can still see all the steps. You did the mouth, the nose and now it's working on the eyes. Um, we made the, the eyelashes separately so if you wanted to make a boy version without lashes you can just skip that step and it will do the eyes without lashes. Now that everything is done, I have to remove the water-soluble stabilizer. I try to carefully get out as much as I can. If you cannot get it all out, you can use a, a damp cloth or a, a damp sponge to um, remove everything else. And now I'm just uh, removing the, the outside of the face fabric. Be very careful not to cut the ears or horn or anything else. So again, small stitches all around. And again, I need to clean up the lint and then return the hoop to the machine. Oh, before that I turned it um, and I added a little uh, string so I can uh, attach it to my um, to my oven door. So I stuck some uh, string over there and then added a piece of felt, of stiff felt on the back. The string I used is a, a fabric that's like a, a t-shirt. Looks like it's been cut out from a t-shirt, but I have a spool of it. And this is just what I had in, at hand. You can use anything else as a system to, to hold it. So you return the hoop to the machine and it will do the final contouring. After starting, uh, I realized I should have uh, just um, used some tape for the ears and because I was nervous, I decided to stop the machine and add the tape just to, to be on the safe side and have those ears out of the moving needle. And it will go all around and do a satin stitch to cover all the edges. 
this is the final stitching and after this one is done you are all done with embroidering you have to remove everything and tear the design out remove the, the sticky tape and you have to also remove the stabilizer that's extra and um, you have to cut the felt around that contour very very carefully so you do not cut the horns or the string or anything else by accident so just like you see here when I reach something I use my hand to flip it so I can cut quite close to the satin stitching but I leave like just a little bit extra so I, to make sure I'm not cutting the, the stitches. Be very careful with this step because you work a, worked a lot to get here. So this is the back. Just a little trims and it looks great. Now let's see how it looks on the oven. You can add uh, like a snap or a little piece of fabric with a snap tab or something. I decided to use this because this is what I had in hand. In I'm making, I'm trying to make a pretty bow. So thank you all for watching this tutorial. I hope I see your uh, pickers used as towel toppers and please share it in our Facebook group and let us uh, enjoy your work also. Thank you for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this with a friend that loves embroidery and has a hoop that's at least 4 by 4 inches.